This is my review of Bleach Chapter 67. Kisuke finally stops chasing Ichigo. Ichigo grabs the uh, his hilt really tightly. And he kind of puts it as a uh, waist like he's going to draw it like a samurai. Kisuke readies himself. Showing he's getting in some kind of a position. Uh, and then Ichigo shouts on Getsu in a massive... Burst of his power goes everywhere. It almost hits Kisuke. And um, he's hitting the rock that Junta and Tessai are behind. And do -do -do. Dust is going everywhere. It's hard to see. You kind of see Ichigo a little bit. And then you finally see that Zangetsu is there. And we get a, a proper cover. Ichigo wielding Zangetsu. Um, the... I hadn't really like style. I don't know. I don't know. That we saw it in full. I'm sure we'll get better looks at it later on. But um, it's a very simple design. Um, I can't really say anything about the way Kubo draws it because I really wasn't paying attention to that specifically. I was more looking at Ichigo's uniform and stuff. He's got like this red tassel on his. Um, she hawk show and stuff. It's very simple. Um, I think it looks fine. I'm trying to remember. I know that the back half of it is completely back black. I don't know if Kubo draws the front like shaded since it's lighter, or if he just left it white. But um, it is an interesting dichotomy. He does the white on black a lot. The I guess it's yin and yang. Um, Jinta wonders about Ichigo's own Pakuto. Uh, he says that it's strange it doesn't have a hilt or cross guard. He doesn't think it's as good as the old one was. Um, Tessai's just looking at it. And Kisuke says that now they can properly start Lesson 3, but then Ichigo, uh, tells him that he needs to dodge his attack because he can't control it. And as power swells, Kisuke uses Benhime to block it. And Ichigo releases a massive attack. His hat's taken off. He's bleeding. And he made a, a blood mist shield with Benihime. And the shield is partially broken from uh, Ichigo's attack. Kisuke picks up a severed hat and puts it on. He says that Ichigo's strong. Um, he can actually be pretty scary. Uh, Ichigo passed out because he used all of his power at once. Then we cut to Uryu, and we see that he finished his training, and he has a glove on now. It's got holes in the wrist. And uh, we see that Chad blows a hole in a wall, and then Yoroichi has them run away because um, they obviously blew a hole in the wall. And then the little corner thing is of Cone, and he ran away from home because he didn't want to deal with Yuzu. Uh, it's pretty cool ending to the fight. Um generic for bleach it always kind of ends with a big energy release of some description now, this isn't even the first one the most Corando is the first one where it's go like turns it back and it is up the giant slash it's pretty much always the same shit um but it's cool i don't mind it we barely get a look at what kisuke can do with benihime but that's all right i guess um, yeah, it was an all right fight.